A hundred billion trillion stars. Can you imagine so many of anything? By Seth Fishman, illustrated by Isabel Greenberg. For Wes, up above the world so high, SF. Let me tell you a secret. The sun is just a star. And there are maybe 100 billion trillion stars. Circling around our star is a planet that is blue and green. Us! Blue because it's covered by 370 billion billion gallons of water. Green because it's covered in 3 trillion trees. On the other side of the planet, where the sun isn't shining, you can see bright lights like little stars all over its surface. Those are the lights that come from 2,500,000 cities and towns and villages filled with people. Some even reading books, just like you. Seven billion, five hundred million people live in those cities and on that planet. But do you want to know another secret? So do ten million billion ants. The strange thing is that seven billion, five hundred million humans weighs about the same as ten quadrillion ants which is another way of saying 10 million billion. Which is still only a small fraction or portion of the 13 million billion billion pounds the planet weighs, the planet itself weighs. That's heavy enough to make a big dip in space and pull the moon into orbit, where it circles and circles the Earth 240,000 miles away. This dip is a force called gravity. Gravity is also what pulls you back to the ground when you try to jump to the moon. 240,000 miles is about 10 times around the Earth, or almost 420 million use. Or dogs or smallish snakes or guitars or baseball bats lined up head to foot. Now take a, de take a deep breath and hold it for five seconds. <gasps> Just do that another 6,307,200 times, and you'll be a year older. Or don't. You'll be a year older in 31,536,000 seconds anyway. This entire world is filled with crazy numbers built one on top of the other, making it whole and complete. There are about 1,620 trillion raindrops in an average thunderstorm. The highest wave ever surfed was as tall as a 10-story building. The average person walks something like 100,000 miles in their lifetime, or five times around the world. A great white shark has about 300 teeth. You have 20 but we'll have 32 when you get older. Only 546 people have been in space. 
The longest a person has spent in space at one time is 437 days. In the course of an average lifetime, you might eat up to 70 pounds of bugs or more. There are probably at least 37 billion rabbits in the world. The tallest building in the world is 2,722 feet tall. It is in Dubai. By the time you've done reading this book, almost every single number in it will have changed, getting bigger or smaller, right before your eyes. Even the number of stars. I can tell you one more secret about something you can find somewhere among the 100 million billion, 100 billion trillion stars. Wait, was that right? 100 billion trillion stars. There's only one of you, right there, right here, right now, reading this book. Author's note. I think I owe you an explanation. I'm sure you're wondering how in the wide world I know the number of stars or ants or raindrops. I definitely didn't pull out a telescope, look up into the night sky, and begin counting. If I did that, I would spend my entire life at that telescope and would never come close to finishing. Instead, I discovered them through scientific articles and math and very intelligent guesswork, and the help of a genius I know named Randall Munro. These numbers are sort of definitely almost true. Let me explain. Some of these numbers change so quickly that to give you an exact number would be impossible. For instance, we don't really know if the full weight of all the ants on Earth equals the full weight of humans, but we can estimate that there are 3.5 million ants per acre in the Amazon rainforest. With some serious snooping, fact-checking, and extrapolating, we can estimate a very large number of ants on Earth, one that means the combined weight of all these ants should be near the combined weight of all humans, or maybe dogs or mice. And yes, you might eat some of those ants. You might eat many different types of bugs, though of course I don't know exactly how many or whether you'll do it on purpose. Maybe a fly will zip into your mouth as you bike, or you'll swallow a spider while you snore at night. But it will be near 70 pounds worth over the course of your life, about the total weight of a golden retriever. Estimates can help you imagine sizes and compare one big fact to another. That is why this book is called A Hundred Billion Trillion Stars and not 119 sextillion 57 quintillion 737 quadrillion 183 trillion 462 billion 307 million 491 thousand 699 stars. You can get very near the correct number on many things near enough for us to understand how big they are, especially in comparison to the world around us. Here's what's really important. These huge numbers are around us everywhere. They're in atoms and ants and stars, linking everything together. You have the exact same thing that stars are made of inside you. And the sun, just a star, has some of you in it too. So the next time you're staring at the night sky, don't bother counting the stars, just watch them all shine. And if you want to try reading some big numbers on your own, it's all about these groups of numbers. This is the reader speaking. Um, and these are called number families. So this is the units family, as we say in Montessori education. Units ones, units also known as ones, tens, and hundreds. So you could have up to 999 before you had one more and get to a thousand. This is the thousand families. You could have up to 999,000 before we move to the next family, which is the millions. And the next family, which is the billions. 
and the next family, which is the trillions, quadrillions, billion, billion, or quintillion, and billion trillion, or sextillion. And we could even keep going beyond that. Numbers can keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, as big as the universe. But that was... A hundred billion trillion stars. Can you imagine so many of anything? By Seth Fishman and Isabel Greenberg. And this is EDU Kidspace. Subscribe for more stories, books, and lessons, and hit the little bell notification button to be notified when I put out new books. If there's something in particular you'd like to read about, leave us a message in the comments or send us a message on the channel. Have a good one.